Today we visit Brownfield Municipal Airport, an airport so close to the border that there is actually a NASA report, 588133. You can look it up for yourself where a VFR pilot accidentally landed at Tijuana International. We'll put a link to that report in the description. We typically like to share our ATC audio, especially when going into a towered airport. But by the time we got home, we realized our recorder was no longer working. So we had none, which is unfortunate because when we left, Tower asked us if we were coming back. And we'd like to think it was because they were going to miss us. We were approaching from the northwest, so I kind of assumed we would be landing right traffic for 26 right. But that was not the case. As we got closer, they told us we're going to do left traffic for 26 left. Now, why was that a little sketch for me was because, as I said, we're right close to the border. And this airport is actually only 1.4 miles away. So you got to make sure you don't cross that border as you come in. Obviously, you just stick to your standard pattern for left traffic and you'll be just fine. But I learned my lesson about trying to land at the wrong airport. I almost tried to land at Miramar once. Thank God Montgomery Tower guided me and vectored me back to the right airport. So that is to say that always verify your runways. A big visual clue between this airport and Tijuana International is that this airport has two runways and Tijuana only has one. Oh, and you'll definitely see a huge Mexican flag on the other side of the border. So I didn't see the skydiver when we first arrived. It was only after looking at the footage that we saw him. But even though tower will help you avoid any jumps, keep your eyes outside the window because unfortunately for right now, skydivers don't have ADSB. It's just a guess, but I think one of the main reasons why this airport is still around and heavily used is for international travel as there is a U.S. Customs on the field. But that's just a guess, so feel free to correct me in the comments. Now, as you can see, there are tie down links, but there are no tie down chains, so you have to bring your own. So checklist time. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. It really helps us. If you want to know where we're going to next and don't want to miss that next Where's Transient, please subscribe. And if you have any questions about this airport, please leave a comment or just if you have any general feedback, we'd love to hear from you guys and appreciate the ones who already have. So if you're departing to the north, here's a tip. Research the taxiway delta and transition because as soon as you depart and you get frequency change approved, you can contact North Island and ask them for this route and it will take you right over San Diego International and what's cooler than flying right over a Bravo at a thousand feet.